For pest detection dogs and their handlers to do their work, they need to travel to some remote places by a variety of different methods. Predator-free islands like Whenua Ho off the northwestern coast of Stewart Island require a trip in a helicopter. And that's how Gadget and her handler Sandy got to work today. Gadget doesn't totally love flying, but she handles it really well. Let's go take our gear into the hut. Even though our bags have been through a thorough quarantine process in Invercargill, we have to check again when we get to the island. We start by closing the doors and windows so that if anything has come with us, it can't escape out onto the island. We're looking for dirt, seeds, bugs, and Gadget is helping to check for any rats or mice. Whenua Ho is home to many Taonga species, including kākapō, hoiho, kāka and kākariki. Whenua Ho is probably best known for its kākapō population. We're working here alongside the kākapō team who are carrying out some very important recovery work on the island. Even though conservation dogs and their handlers go through extensive training and assessment to become certified, conservation dogs always wear muzzles when working in the presence of protected species. Gadget is a mix of Fox Terrier, Jack Russell Terrier and West Highland Terrier. She's six and a half years old and is a fully certified rodent pest detection dog. Twice a year, conservation dogs survey the island to ensure it remains predator free. This is what has brought Sandy and Gadget to Whenua Ho. Whenua Ho has been predator free since 1998 when Kiori, or the Polynesian rat, was eradicated. Though it might not always look like it, Gadget's nose is always working and she would indicate if she smelt a rat or a mouse. We cover as much of the island as possible, but try and prioritise areas where there's human activity, such as around the hut, and also sections of coastline where boats might moor close to the shore. So when Gadget's working, I'm looking for her to become really busy. When she starts hunting really intensively, that's when I need to take notice and let her follow through and see what she can find. Gadget's training is constant. She's trained to indicate the presence of rodents, but has had to learn that everything else that lives, breathes and moves is not a target. Obviously it's very unlikely that she will find a rodent here, so to keep her focused and interested, I'd like to bring along something for her to find. Here I've got a piece of dried rat fur and I'm going to hide this and then get her to find it. Yes, yes, good girl, good girl. Good job, good job. Good girl. A successful week for me here is not finding anything. But that's really hard for Gadget to understand, so by using the rat fur, she thinks she's had some success, and we're both happy. Hey, look, good girl. You're a good dog, you? Good girl. Whenua Ho, as well as Kākāpō, they both actually have a huge significance to, uh, to Naito Iwi. Whenua Ho was the first place where colonisation took place in the southern waters. A large percentage of Naito Whānui were actually whakapapa to Whenua Ho. I first saw a Kākāpō 14 uh, years ago, it's such a precious time that to actually save because nowhere else in the world do you see this species. The work that Sandy and Gadget do is extremely important. For the whole of the Mirihiku area, or if even the whole of Aotearoa, their role plays a huge significance to make sure that the island does remain pest free. We're very proud of the work that they do. I've always worked in conservation and Gadget gets me to some places that I wouldn't otherwise get to go. With her I get to see all sorts of amazing spots, like Whenua Ho here. Reversing the imbalance where predators are pushing our native species out is key for conservation work. Without good biosecurity, these native species wouldn't have a safe place to live. Hey, would they? At low tide, a fixed wing plane arrives to fly them off the beach. Sandy and Gadget can confirm this precious place is still predator free and their job is done here until next time. <laughs>